Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'm your host in creating an extraordinary life. You know, many times when I'm in like, your passion, but you know something, to follow those dreams and passions, you need to have energy. How about confidence? Let's talk about inner confidence. I mean, that's Everything. Everything. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. We may not want to eat it because we may not feel well an hour later. Five minutes, ten minutes, and then I go back to bed. My whole that you can different practitioners that you can contact. And, uh, so you have this regular life, and then come Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> so what is that? It's a capitalist system that ties us all together. Yeah, I, I, I believe she's the number one mom in the world. I'm sure. I love to coach. I love to uh, help people in business. Uh, I love like coming at everyone about it. And, on the other side, you went from something negative to making a difference. Hi, my name is Andre and I'm your host in creating an extraordinary life. How do you create that extraordinary life? I tell you, being a life coach for many years now, I realized that there's only one way to create that extraordinary life and that's to follow your dreams. That's right, follow your dreams. Maybe your mother might not agree, society may not agree, but if you dare to follow your dreams, that extraordinary life is going to be for you, for your taking. Well, today on my show, I'm so happy to have my friend Fizz. And, you know, Fizz did precisely that. He followed his dream and he became a musician and he has an extraordinary story that he's going to tell us. And, uh, and I love his CD. I have it in the car. The problem is every time I buy it, Fizz, somebody takes it. <laughs> you know? Well, welcome good. to the show. Thank phase. you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm very blessed. I feel very lucky that uh, I'm able to play music for a living. And uh, yeah, I'd say even live your dream. <clears throat> Not just follow it, but live it and just like will it to happen. And, um, I've always had these visions when I was a young boy. I would listen to, uh, I put on Beatles albums or whatever I was listening to, and I would imagine myself. Um, performing these songs and being this rock and roll star and um, and helping people it was always for me it was always connected with healing music is very healing you know so uh, it was uh, sometimes it was tremulous growing up in, uh, in the household it was a divorced family so there was you know the music for me was an escape a lot of the times so it was very healing for me so I always associated music with healing and I always wanted to bring that comfort and that healing to others so I used to have these visions of performing for people children in need and so now I, I actually do that I get to perform at Common Road School for the children there and uh, I uh, started an organization called Notes for Life and I've raised money for small charities in need I did one for recently uh, for the Golden Fund for Autism so I like to uh, raise money for other organizations that are small that aren't getting funded by the government and that, you know, need help. So, yeah. Wow, that's <coughs> great. So you have your own organization. Yeah, and Notes you have for the Life. website. Yeah, if you visit notesforlife.org. So notesforlife.org. Notesforlife.org. And, yeah. and that's, uh, they can, on the website it will tell yeah, you how to donate? Yeah, show you, yeah. Oh, that is so wonderful. Yeah. So how'd you, like, so there's, there's different aspects of your motivation. One yeah. is for you to play, yeah. but then the other one is to make a difference. And, and you know, you're speaking about something that is close to my heart, children. Yeah. I mean, me too. I mean, yeah, you know, life coaching is my second career, and I donate my time to the kids. You know, it, it, I believe it starts from when they litter. Yeah. So my heart goes for the kids, and now they're telling me they're doing that for the kids. I just want to acknowledge you. That is Thank so you. great. So Thank tell you. me more about this organization and how <laughs> these kids benefit. Well, um, whenever I, I mean, Notes for Life, it, there's different phases of Notes for Life. When I, whenever I do a charity event, it's for another organization. So ch Notes for Life doesn't get the money. I, I raise the money for other organizations. So the last one we did was for the Golden Fund for Autism. And I got uh, uh, Elisa DeStefano from Channel 12 News. She hosted it and uh, we raised thousands of dollars for the Golden Fund for Autism. Um, but when I go perform for the children, like at Common Road School to Physically Challenged Children, you know, that, that to me is Notes for Life. It's a part of my dream. It's part of the whole thing. And, and that's to bring the healing and the healing power of music to the world, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, 
it kind of goes hand in hand with, with my whole journey. Yeah. It's kind of intertwined, yeah. you know. So when did you know? Like, you know, you, you this I've little kid. I've always known. That was always my goal and always my dream as far back as I can remember. I remember being a little boy and sitting in the back of my mother's car listening to Chuck Berry or whatever and just knowing that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a musician. And so. then the road, I mean, here it is. Like, all these other yeah. kids are going to school and then all of a sudden, how do you take... See, that's what's so interesting to me. How... <coughs> Can you get the desire, the will, the passion to say, you know what? And I so admire you because, I mean, it's it's not easy to become a musician these yeah. days, right? Yeah. To actually follow as you as as you're full time and and, and 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 not stop until you actually things start to materialize. Where do you get that passion? What inside of you propelled you to follow your dreams to this extent? Like you said, I love it when you corrected me and said, Andre, not just, right? Not yeah, just talk not, about not the dream, but it. actually live it. I yeah, mean, that's so beautiful. It. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want it, like, as if, if, if it's like following, it's like sometimes it would always be like ahead of you instead of just being it, just being it. Wow. You know, because a lot of people get caught up in the whole media or like if you're not validated by the masses, then you're not this or you're not that. Mm -hmm. But you are who you believe you are. Mm -hmm. Man, man becomes who he think. You know, man is who he thinks he is. What what he believes, he becomes. So I'm not going to wait for people to validate who I am. I know who I am. So, you know, it's you know, in the meantime, until you know, maybe other people catch on. I just live what you know how I see myself and how I've always seen myself. And I didn't get the support. Um, nothing against my family, but my father was old school Italian guy. He was like, cut your hair and get a job. You know? <laughs> uh, it's a jungle out there. He would always like move things and it's a jungle out there, I'm telling you. <laughs> and uh, so nobody knew the fire inside me like I did. I've always known the fire in me. I can't explain to people my visions and my goals that I see myself being one of the biggest rock stars in the world and helping millions of children around the world. This is my goal and my dream. If you share that with people, they'll think you're kooky, you know? Mm -hmm. And I didn't get that support in the, the family I grew up in because it's just, just a working class environment and that's just the mentality of most people. You know, go to school, get a job and that whole thing. And uh, I had other goals. I have, I have other, you know, I have other things in my mind, you know? And um, great things I want to accomplish. and. Uh, so now when I look back and I see the things that I have done, it's, uh, you know, it's just the fire has to be inside you and you have to know who you are and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or says. As long as you know who you are, that's the most important thing, you know. And which that's what's lacking in our society. Yeah, and not for selfish means too, not like, oh, your ego, I want to be rock star, me, me, me guy, but you know, I, I, I do believe it needs to be sincere and true and like if your intentions are true and you truly do want to help others and, and you have that kind of uh, passion, I believe God gives you what you, the universe, God, however, any of you out there like to view it. Uh, I know there's a lot of different beliefs out there. I really believe in um, all religions and all people lead into one. We're all connected. And the, the delusion is that people take on their own thing, but at one time we were all connected, you know? So but we're still for me, yeah. Please, we're still off. Yeah. But there are yeah. people out there that, you know, say, this is, you exactly. know, I'm this, I'm that, you know? But, um, so. And they mean well, like, yeah, right? Yeah, Everybody absolutely. means well. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. And, uh, you know, it, it's incredible because, you know, uh, we, we spoke on different occasions, but I never had these deep conversations. <laughs> and I, I could really see, because I speak to a lot of people from the show, from life coaching, and I could tell when people are clear and when people, there's something in that space. And you know, it's so wonderful to see you are so clear. When you say genuine, like it, it's a lot of people, they go through their whole life and they never get to the point uh, again who to know who they are in a genuine way. Now I have a question for you, how do you get there? How do you get, because even me sometimes, I have the question, is this ego, is this this genuine? Yeah. How do you get to where then you go, this is me, it's genuine, and it's not ego? Like, where is, I know there's a fine line, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say that there definitely is a fine line. Um, and that's a, that's a great question. I, th I think as long as, you, when, you, when it's effortless, when it's effortless and it just flows out, and you don't really have to think about it, that's being aligned with God and with the universe. 
when you have to start when you start feeding into the ego mind and you hear that mind and that thing going that then 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 that's not really vibrating but if you're if you're just just doing just being you know, meditation is good for that, you know, um, really calming down and just not trying. Like the Zen masters, you ever see like the old karate movies, right? Like the young guys are all fighting and everyone's going, right? And uh, then you see the old man just standing there and he's just kicking everybody's ass just by going like <laughs> that, yeah? right? You see yeah, everyone's exactly. kind of, and, yeah. and, and, and that's really like, that's like Zen, you know, that's like just how it should be. It's just. Just let it be, and it'll just let it flow, and it comes, and you know, and then you're a Zen master. You know, once you start feeding it to the ego mind and that whole thing, then you're not really being, you know. Yeah. Also, Fizz, what I found for me in my own life and my own career uh, is that it's consistency. Like I see, like my yeah. sister's like Andre, you're always in and out of things, yeah. but my yeah. willingness and desire to learn about human evolution, the human mind, and how understanding the way humans operate and making a difference through coaching it and it's never changed it's been the last 10 years i'm consistently trying to either manage train other people so one thing i found that's why i actually the question yeah. is that you become clear who you are or your destiny is that even if you try to stop i could try to stop not trying to make a difference in other people through uh helping them out uh and, and it doesn't work. I mm -hmm. always end up being there. Do maybe because that's be who on you TV. are. You're, who you're giving. You know, uh, uh, people come here for different reasons too. You know, you have like healers that come here to help others. You have people that just experience their own experiences for their self reasons. There's no the masters never judge. You know, mm -hmm. you ever hear like the mm -hmm. Lord or Buddha or yeah, any yeah. of these people? They don't judge because mm -hmm. they know that you know. There's a lot more going on than the surface. Most mm -hmm. people are vibrating on the surface, you know? What they see, they judge with what they see, you know, what they hear, you know? But there's a lot more going on than that. You know, like when I go play for the children and they go, wow, you know, it's really great you go play for the children. Well, a lot of those children, I mean, they're angels. They're here, a lot of them mm -hmm. come here to help us. Wow. So wow. It's, it's really a, a lot of ways the other way around than what people perceive it to be. Mm -hmm. Some people sacrifice themselves, and this is my core belief and my mm -hmm. spiritual belief from my experiences. Mm -hmm. They come here to help us. Some people come to sacrifice themselves for the higher good of mankind, like Jesus. And like others, you know, so um, things aren't always what they seem. A lot of people are just vibrating on the superficial, on the, the you know, on the senses, but it's, there's a lot more going on than that. Fizz, you're a very deep guy. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I was on to talk about music, but I tell you, <laughs> I've got a lot of, uh, we you're can very talk spiritual, about <laughs> you know, that's incredible. Well, that's what music is to me. It is very spiritual. Very spiritual. And we could talk about music. This CD is actually very spiritual. I love it. I love it, especially even number seven. Even though it's, uh, yeah, you like there a lot. Yeah, yeah. the piano song. Um, yeah. There's a nice mix of stuff on this CD, and um, it, uh, it actually folds out to a whole poster and... All the lyrics, like, when I grew up listening, I don't know where the camera is, but, um, so uh, when I grew up listening to music, we used to buy albums, you know, and I always loved buying the album and, you know, the artwork in it and all the lyrics and that whole thing. A lot of kids today don't know what that's all about. They just download stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, this CD, I went all out and uh, got Paul McCartney's old drummer, Steve Holly from Wings. Wow. He was Paul's drummer. He's playing on here and uh, produced by Bob Stander. Uh, he's also playing all over the CD. Genius musician, producer, engineer, Paul Errico, Steve Forbes, piano player, a lot of top guys, uh, and a lot of different styles on there. Uh, some stuff I've written on the guitar, some stuff I wrote on the piano. Um, and even though it's pop, it's it's spiritual stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And the Beatles were, you know, even though it's, some people just chalk it up as a regular pop band, but they really changed the course of uh, this planet in a, in a big way, you know, their music was very, very spiritual, you know, uh, all you need is love and, and um, you know, it really affect people on a deep level, it's just how you take it. Some people just listen to it like in the background or whatever, but some people take music on, on a whole other level, you know, yeah. everybody's life is different in this planet, you know, and everyone perceives things completely differently. Yeah, By the nice. way, I'm very happy you're wearing my shirt, the, uh, yes. the fish see? shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy to wear it. <laughs> yeah, Fizz, I, I like what you have to say. And there's also a girl, 
on, on Janet that. Montalbo is singing on uh, There, which is the song you really I like love a lot. That song. Uh, that's that's a you song. You have to get the CD and you have to listen to yeah. that song. It's yeah, it's a beautiful. Song. Yeah, make a, that's that, uh, Some of my fans use that as a wedding song. Yes. It's been used as a wedding yes. song. It's a. Uh, originally wrote it as a solo, just me, and then I said, you know what, this this needs a woman's touch. Yes. So yes. I turned it into a duet. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. We, we're gonna play it for you. Uh, because it's such it's such an incredible song. I want to make sure that people at home get to hear it. So yeah. you're gonna play something for yeah. us uh, solo over here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All I right. got my guitar. I can grab Excellent. it. Excellent. So what are you gonna play for us? I figured I'd play track two on this CD. It's something. Uh, <coughs> um, it's called High. If I fall, 
Is your life still out of tune? Is your life still out of tune? Is your life still out of tune? There you have it, the fizz. That was great. Thank you. That was really great. Thank you. And so where can we get your music? Uh, you can buy my CD um, at my website, which is fizzband.com. So uh, there you have it. Fizz, ban fizz with one Z, fizzband.com. If you Google fizz with one Z, you'll find me. But uh, it's also available on iTunes and uh, Amazon and, uh, um, yeah. Uh, what's next for you, Fizz? What's next for me is I'm moving to California. I'm leaving in a couple of weeks to wow. give my career a whirl over there. Wow. Yeah. 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 So before you know, you'll be on uh, all over. You'll be tour you'll be touring uh, for the kids all over the world. That's the plan. Fizz, thank you very much thank for you. being on the show. Thank you. And uh, I wish you all the success in the thank world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and I'm Andrea Luciano, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm Rick Lydon Frost Wilson, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm Matt Crone from Acoustically Correct, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm Ed Fitzpatrick, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm Nadine, and that's what I'm talking about. My name's Ken Snyder, and that's what I'm talking I'm about. County Legislator Dave Denenberg, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm Rick Laban, and that's what I'm talking about. And I'm Andre to your left, and that's what I'm talking about. Hi, I'm Corey Laban, and that's a wrap.